Welcome to a brand new vlog. I have some super exciting news. After five years of wearing the same glasses and with the same prescription, I got my new glasses in the mail from Smart by Glasses. In the box, it came with both pairs of glasses I got, a clear pair and a pink pair. And in the glasses case, it came with a glasses cleaner, a warranty card, the glasses, and a replacement lens. I was so shocked to get replacement lenses, but I wanna show you all what they look like. This is my clear pair of rectangular glasses. I feel like I now see in HD. I switched from like iPhone 6 quality to camera quality in my glasses. It's so crazy I was wearing the same prescription for that long. And this is my pink round pair. This is actually my husband's favorite. I feel like it adds, you know, a bit more color. I really like them both and I'm so glad it's high quality. So definitely get you some affordable prescription glasses from Smart by Glasses if you need. so many dishes to wash now. <laughs> this entire tub is filled with all of my nail products. I have been applying to jobs back to back nonstop for days almost and yeah I just decided to take the day off today and do one of my tasks on my list of things to do before I get another job and that's doing my nails the last time i did my nails was probably about over a year ago and i was doing my nails like back to back to back so i'm looking forward to just getting into it again so for cleanup i just have this cuticle remover from blue cross this cuticle remover set from yin yin and a regular what's it called so the first thing I'm gonna do is almond shape my nails. I usually do the cleanup first, but I'm just so looking forward to not having this random shapage anymore and to have a shape, so I'm just gonna do that first. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with my pinky. <laughs> like this is not a shape at all. <laughs> but yeah, I just try not to go too deep down here when shaving i just try to stay usually at the top and i just like to go underneath in one direction it's 
slowly starting to take shape, but literally I cannot give you guys a tutorial on this because I'm no expert. I literally just go back and forth until I think the shape is cute. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use this nail as the tutorial. <laughs> so first what I like to do is I like to just kind of, mind you, this is not professional by any means. <laughs> I like to just kind of go crazy on this side until it turns into a slant almost, until it's sharp like this. Actually, maybe a little more. Yeah. And then when it's crooked like this, then I like to start curving and going to the other side. They're done. This hand is slightly questionable. This is my right hand and I'm right handed. So I did it with my left hand, of course. And yeah, but they're cute. Next, we're just gonna do some cleanup using the cuticle remover, a nail pusher, a nail scraper up underer, and a cuticle clipper. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Dead nail skin. Then you use the scraper up under her to, <laughs> you guessed it, scrape up under. Ooh. A trick I learned with the cuticle clipper is to put it as far back as you want to cut because the only part of the cuticle clipper that really moves is the front part of the clipper. And so this ensures that you don't accidentally <laughs> cut yourself. After I finished nail cleanup, I prepped my nails with Modelone's nail dehydrator and their nail primer. Nail cleanup and prep really helps with the longevity of your nails. The key ingredient, Modelone's Builder Nail Gel. This is a builder base that you would use instead of a regular base. And what this does is it really strengthens your nails so that you don't really have to worry about breakage at all. And on top of that, instead of soaking your nails in acetone to take the, the dyne off, you can just drill off your design because this base is so thick that the drill won't damage your actual nails. We're now getting ready to head to Fort Lauderdale, but my hair is looking so dry and crusty. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to wrap it up in a scarf and see if that looks any good. It doesn't fully match, but we're gonna go with it. When I'm doing my nails, I usually end up switching up the design midway. That's the fun part about doing your own nails. But yeah, I just did a heart and a little ombre fade out on this nail. Years gone by so fast. I'm making every moment with you last. I don't know anyone as sweet as you. Florida is so funny. Now it's lightly raining. But don't know anyone as sweet as you. I'm thinking about doing the Fifth Avenue, and she just said it's a bestseller. Ready, ready. 
got the goods. It smells really strong already. Nice. Which one is this one? My husband got the Times Square Milk. Nice. How it looks. You gonna dip it in the chocolate even more try. Best thing is the tomato sauce, but the chicken is a little yellow for some reason. And yeah, it's not it. Oh. My husband is nervous to try his now. <laughs> but, <laughs> The verdict is in. He thinks it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh. We're now outside of this soft tea place right here that we're gonna go to and grab some dessert. <laughs> we are reaching near the end of the vlog but before we go into a new week i wanted to share with you guys something that has been so helpful for me so recently i created an answered prayers list i usually think about the prayers that god answers in my mind but i decided to create a physical list that i could just Oh, my bad, my bad. And I didn't want to, the dryer to be in the background. Oh, I'm sorry, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but having this physical list to look back on is just a reminder of God's provision and God's faithfulness in my life. And also, sometimes our prayers get answered and sometimes they don't. However, God desires for us to still continue praying um, even when those prayers don't get answered. And something that reminds me of this is when Paul wanted to go see the Thessalonians, but Satan prevented him at every turn. Even after that, he still continued to pray and pray to be able to see them. So yeah, I just wanted to leave you guys with this. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next vlog.